This is a quick tutorial on how to use the new Jill's Office app. The Jill's Office app is available on iPhones and Androids. When you first log in to your app, your default screen is your open action items. These are all your current action items that we've sent to you and you can scroll through them and view them in chronological order. You can also click on closed action items to view the action items that you have closed out. In this screen, you can also click on the New button, and this will create a new action item for you to send to Jill's office. You can simply select a previous contact that has called in, or you can create your own, but it will pre-populate all of the information that we've collected from pre previous conversations. Click on Send to Jill, and we'll receive the message. The second icon at the bottom is for your CRM. When you click on this button, you will be able to see all of the contacts that have previously called into Jill's office. And if you click on one, you can also view all of the conversations that we've had with them, all the previous action items, as well as their contact information. You can edit this information, or you can also scroll down and change their status. This is how you block a number from calling into your account. The next icon at the very bottom is for your voicemail. You can click on this to view all of your voicemails, to listen to them, as well as delete them. The very last icon at the bottom is for your settings. This is where you can update your greeting, which is how we answer phones for your company. For example, thank you for calling Jill's office. How can I help you today? The second box is for alerts. The alerts show up in big red letters every time we take a call for your company. This is where you can put some urgent information that can be updated at any time. For example, the office is closed today. Please schedule all appointments for next week. Then you can just click on the update button and you're all good to go.